Hi everybody, um, this is week seven of nine weeks, so only two more to go. You can see the snowflakes in the back. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to do this outside so you can see my bald head. Also, um, just to give you some change of scenery, but I need to make sure that the mosquitoes aren't chasing me down. Um, this week was a little crazier week. I had a little black cloud hanging over my head. Um, from the change process, I was feeling some frustration because I was like, are we there yet? Can we get this over with? Um, I'm getting bored. I'm getting impatient, um, frustrated. So a lot of those emotions. There again, I did not exercise only but one, once or twice this week and that made a huge difference because once I exercised again, I felt much, much better. Um, so that goes to show that exercising uh, definitely helps. But then we went and saw the doctor today, we had chemo, I had the, double, the last of the double doses um, until surgery and saw the doctor and here's what she's saying. So my little black cloud that I had over my head has changed into a silver cloud. So um, first of all, she was really, really ha happy because um, I did not have to skip any chemo treatments. Usually patients have to skip one or two chemo treatments because their blood cells, you know, the count goes too low, but they're able to do mine. Um, also, um, I'm sailing through this as far as, uh, you know, having energy, I'm not getting nauseous and, you know, Feel like things are going well. I was also feeling some pains in my uh, abdominal area and, and discomfort and I'm like oh what's that all about and then she's saying that that's a good thing because that means that the cancer cells and the tumor are, are getting eaten up and things are just moving around and so uh, that's very normal to feel that so that was good to hear that. We're targeting the week of August 19th for surgery um, and anywhere from a three a four to six week period recovery, but I'm, uh, we're thinking maybe three weeks. I just won't be able to work for three weeks. So for those of you I have gigs booked with, um, hopefully we'll keep those. We might have to change a couple. Um, and then she's also gonna, we're gonna test for the Barak gene. It's the BRCA, that's that genet the genetic gene. It's a gene mutation. Um, and if you have it, you have a higher risk of ovarian cancer and breast cancer. But she was saying that for folks that have that gene, they have a good a new drug that they could deliver after the surgery um, that will re that as a maintenance drug. And so um, she's saying that that if I do have it, they have things that they could do to, to help maintain it. So she's very very optimistic that we'll get this in remission. So the plan is two more chemo treatments, um, and those are definitely going to happen. Surgery the week of August 19th, and then uh, do nine more weeks of chemo after the surgery just to make sure everything's all cleaned up and then go ahead and um, do the maintenance drug. So lesson this week, I'm gonna say it again, exercise, eat right, meditate, uh, read the book, this, The Healing Self, that definitely, definitely will help. And um, don't give up. And, and all the emotions you feel are normal. It's part of the process and just work through those emotions, acknowledge them, work through them, and uh, talk to people, get the help you need, which I'm doing for Mama's Superheroes and acknowledge them and work through them and uh, let them pass and just let release things release the pain release the um, tension just release that type of stuff so thank you for watching the videos i'm having fun watching how many times videos have been watched and how many subscribers i have it's been it's been a blast and we will be talking to you next week hugs and love bye